Yeah, there's never any question that Dan would always win, um, <laughs> really. So we did a lot of drinking. I'm always right. <laughs> Suave or something. <laughs> his, his, his mum had to walk out, bless her, had to walk out of the screening last night at that point. Yeah. Um, but what is a gentleman? I guess someone... Uh... There is a sibling rivalry, Pew. Uh, did that ever come out, say, maybe when you were skeet shooting? Who was the better um, shot? Did you practice together? No, because there was never any question that I would, would have been the better shot. Um... <laughs> no, we didn't get to skeet shoot together, unfortunately. Um, we did a lot of drinking. Uh, and who who wins at that? You? Me, yeah. yeah, yeah. But just by definition. Yeah. Um, I don't think we are competitive, are we? I think we have a very healthy relationship in which I'm always right. <laughs> <laughs> this is called The Gentleman, and it kind of shows that a gentleman isn't what we think of. What's a gentleman to you? Yeah, it's mm. funny, there was actually a line in the show, which thankfully they did not use, where it was someone <laughs> saying... You know, what is a gentleman? And I had to say, like, suave or something. <laughs> but what is a gentleman? I guess someone uh, of good character. Yeah, I'm going to say, like, uh, there's a uh, politeness thing to it. I was always, I always kind of got that impression that gentlemanliness was something about honour and uh, kind of a uh, code of, mm. of politeness and treating people fairly, which I suppose Theo's character sort of represents to begin with. And then maybe as the show goes on, we as you say, start to sort of play with that and undercut it. Working in a castle, um, having visited sets, they're often cold and dark and not glamorous at all. If you could, would you live in a castle? I wouldn't, then, I wouldn't then, live in a castle. No, I, I, don't think I, I don't think I would. No. No. I sort of don't Let think me. I'd ever feel comfortable living somewhere with, like, columns either. Mm. Do you know what I mean? When you see those really opulent houses, then you know, mm. I'd look at them and think, wow. It just doesn't, be very it doesn't cozy. feel me. And it wouldn't be, it's not homely. Well, what about the character maybe stayed with you? Mm. 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 Interesting. Good question. Um, I suppose the thing I could relate to most about it was, was the idea of being trapped, if you like, in your own, within your own ego and, and, and that becoming a sort of prison that you're not aware you're in. And I think he starts to become lighter towards the end of it as a result of slightly just bursting through that and I first you know I don't know I I feel like that's something as I've got older I've enjoyed um being like I'm, I'm not cool and I but I don't try or want to be cool anymore which is something when I was a young man I definitely did and felt a pressure to um to live up to so I I don't know if I kind of learned it in the process of doing this but I definitely re can relate to that thing of actually uh, once you sort of give up the pretensions of who you want the world to see you as, life can be a bit easier. How about you, man? I would say my uh, mum found um, the chicken scene very distressing, um, which is interesting because, you know, it's, it's comedic as well, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't, I, yeah, I don't know, I his, don't know what... his mum had to walk out, bless her, had to walk out of the screening last night at that point. Yeah, because um, she found it, I think, because the idea, you know, of of, of brothers, mm. uh, you know, and, and humiliating family in front, because I come, you know, I have brothers. Got two brothers. Two brothers, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. She felt it was, <laughs> you know, too mean, which is very sweet. I love that. Thank you so much. Love this series. Hope to see more. Thanks, oh, thanks.